Hi everyone! So for today's video, I will show you a tutorial on how to re-edit your video if you want to clear some parts of your video that has a copyright claim. So let's start! <laughs> So I will create a new window. This is an empty window, so I will drag I will drag the episode which I want to edit. So it's the episode 2 of Backstreet Rookie. So I will drag it here. As you can see, it's a whole episode 2 of Backstreet Rookie. I will go through the next scene from here. So I will cut from here and then delete this one, this highlighted here, I will delete it. This is a one second only. And this part, I will not include that, so I will delete that. So I cut it. So as you can see, I cut that scene and I go here. Then I cut it here. If I include a long scene from the episode, so I will I will put a long scene from the episode. So I will move the two cutted scenes, and this one is the audio. The highlighted here is the audio, so I will delete that because I will not gonna be including that. And then I will speed this down. To 50% and, and also this one I will speed this one to 50% so you can see the slow motion so this one I will stick it here I will stick it together like this so also the audio I will not include the audio so I'm gonna be deleting this audio but the scene from here is a straight scene from the episode it has a 30 seconds scene so you can see if I upload it to my channel it will get hit by a copyright claim so I will upload it after I export it so when I export it I make sure that I export it to 3 GP so it will have a 1 MB only so if I upload it I can upload it fast. So I export it. After I export it, I go to my channel. And then I upload it. And after I upload it, I make sure to make it private. So I can see which part of the video has a copyright claim. So right here, you can see after I upload it, you can see it's blocked. It's, you can see that it is partially blocked. So it has a copyright claim. So we will look at the copyright claim, which part of the video has a copyright claim. So we'll see the details. So you can see here the area which has a copyright claim. So... The area which has a copyright claim starts at 4 seconds, 4 seconds to 39 seconds. So you can see it here. That white transparent box here is the area of your video that has a copyright claim. So you can see it here. So what we're going to do is to re-edit it. So re-edit it and delete it to our channel. So we're going to delete it because it's partially blocked and we got also a copyright claim so we'll get back to our premiere pro and re-edit it so after i get back to my premiere pro here so i will be cutting this long scene so you see here i will cut this long scene cut it here and then stick it together cut cut it again stick it together so so this is the final cutting so as you can see i put a slow motion so i make it short the lo that long scene that has a copyright claim i make it short you can see it has a 36 seconds when i first upload it but right now it has a seven seconds only if 
I export it, I will make it 3GP so it would have a short MB. I'm going to upload it to my channel again and make it private. So we can see if the video would still get hit by a copyright claim or not. So here, right here, you can see it's, the restriction here is none. So you can see here it has no copyright claim. The restrictions is none. So the re-editing is successful. Just like what I've said, if you want to re-edit it, make sure that that long scene would cut into a short scene. And then after I upload it, you can see it has no restrictions. And that's it. You can make it public already. So that's how you can re-edit your video. Just make that long scene short. And then if you want to make sure that your video has no copyright, Make sure that you upload it into private so you can see which area of your video has a copyright claim and then so you can re-edit it. That's what I did. I make that long scene short so it's gonna be different to the original. And then re-upload it again after you re-edit. So that's it and I hope you learned from my video and if you also has a problem like this, I hope this video can help you. So that's it for today. I hope to see you again on my next video. If you like this video, just click the like button and support this channel because I will be doing a lot of tutorials, of editing tutorials that will be posted on this channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. And that's all for today.